Thanks for clicking on the video. My name's Tom Alsop, and today I'm gonna to be talking about the footwork patterns for both the return of serve and the volley. And I'm grouping these together because it's pretty much the identical footwork pattern for both of these shots. Now in last week's video, I was talking about the three footwork patterns that Roger Federer uses to move around the court so beautifully and obviously how you can adapt them into your own game. Now the stuff I'm gonna say in this video somewhat contradicts what I was saying in that video, but obviously there's reasons for it or I wouldn't be saying it. And, and to summarize, last week's video, I was making a point of not stepping wide with any steps, whether that's coming out of the split step, we don't wanna be doing that, it's gonna slow you down, or whether we're hitting this ball, recovering, and stepping in with this leg instead of stepping out. We don't wanna be stepping out, you wanna keep your feet under, you're gonna be a lot faster moving around the court. I need to move this right foot in to move in this direction as fast as possible. Stance, and feet are gonna cross, right foot comes down, left tucks in, and I'm gonna be fast there to recover. However, when we're talking about a return of serve, we're not running, right? We're not moving, we're making one quick move where often we don't have a lot of time because someone's hitting a big serve at us. Same with the net, but we'll, we'll get to that. And you know, if I'm hitting a return and serve here, I'm coming in with a split step and then I'm not running. I'm making one quick move and quite often, let's say the ball comes wide to the backhand, I'm gonna move out with this step. And that's gonna allow me to get a little bit closer to the ball and then move onto my other leg as I strike the shot. If I hit a forehand, it's gonna be split step, stepping out with this leg and then playing the shot as I move onto the other leg. Now, as I'm coming into my split step, I want to make sure that I am facing my opponent, which sounds obvious, but my feet are facing my opponent. They're not square to the court. A lot of people get very distracted by the, the lines on the court, but it's important that you're squaring up to your opponent. That's going to help you to be in the right position and to cut off the angles if they go wide. Now, the other thing is, as we step out with the outside foot, let's say I come here and I go for my backhand, I wanna move my other foot with me. If I go like this, it's a big step and this foot's not gonna to wanna to come once I've done such a big step and you're gonna end up reaching. Obviously the same on the forehand. Coming with the split step, as I step here, you see how my, my left foot came with me? So now I'm actually balanced for when I go hit the shot. If I was to just do this, I feel very stuck here. I feel like I'm gonna need a lot of strength to move my left leg in that direction. So step with the outside foot, but bring your other one with it. So if we use this same footwork pattern for the volley, Again, we're gonna come split step, and if the ball comes wide, we'll take a little step with the left leg, and we're gonna be playing the shot off of that outside leg. Good. Mm-hmm. we're going to play the shot off the right leg. That's the shot, that's the leg we're playing the shot off. That's where we hit the ball from, the right leg. The left leg is just going to come 
as we're stepping into the ball. So positioning the outside leg is really what it's about because a lot of times, you, well, the majority of forehand volleys are a right footed shot. So you position this leg and you can go close, close the gap and, and, and you know, go uh, cover the lines. However, same as I was saying back there, if you come in with this step here, split step, and then you go too wide with this step, which a lot of people might, a lot of people do instinctively, you slow yourself down because you then can't dive in that direction or lunge or whatever you want to call it. I'm not really happy with these dive and lunge words, but you get what I'm saying. We're trying to sort of fall in that direction. And if you go too much, you end up restricting your ability to move your right leg to go actually close that gap. You see this a lot actually when people are playing doubles, the ball's coming cross court and they're trying to intercept by doing a big step, but they don't actually go anywhere. So you need a little step and to be able to go get your body moving in the direction you want it to move. Now, if the ball is coming at your body, I'm just gonna narrow this down to just one footwork pattern here. There's a few different ways of going about it, but I'm gonna show you what you can do on the volley and the return that's gonna allow you to just create a little bit of space. So if the ball is coming at me and I'm gonna play a forehand volley, I'm gonna step my left foot to the side diagonally and then just slide my right one behind. That's gonna allow me to create space, get my body in the right position because I'm keeping my shoulders sideways. So I'm gonna create space and feel like I can hit a comfortable volley. A lot of people turn in, they get all jammed. So you don't wanna be doing that. Ball's coming at my body, I'm, a, I'm hitting a, a backhand volley, step my right leg diagonally this way, and I can slide the other one behind. It's a very simple way of creating space and hitting solid shots. So as I said, it's the same on a return of serve. If the ball is coming at my body and I'm hitting a forehand, I'm gonna step my left foot over here, create a bit of space for myself, and bring this right leg behind. And whenever you wanting to create space, you want your shoulders to be turning away and not in. If you turn in, just like I said on the volley, you won't create any space, you'll just jam yourself. So split step, left foot steps this way, right foot can slide behind. There's other moves obviously where you may go like this kind of move and things like that that you'll see the pros doing. But basically, you just want to be going a split step and creating space. And the best way to create space is by going behind the other leg. If you've got a backhand, it's probably happened a little bit more from the deuce side where that ball's coming into your body. But you come out of the split step and then you'd step your right leg this way. And again, you'd stay sideways. You'd create space by moving this foot this way. But always try to step with this foot diagonally because it's gonna be easier to move around the ball and to create space. Hope you enjoyed that video, hope that it was useful. If you've not seen last week's video where I was talking about the three footwork patterns that Roger Federer uses, go check that out. It's probably one of my better videos and I think it's gonna really help you to be more efficient and fast as you're moving around the court. Thanks a lot.